Well, the Northern Territory's Health Minister has been forced to walk back comments from the Chief Minister that hard borders would be in place in the Northern Territory for at least 18 months. Matt Cunningham is live in Darwin. Matt, it comes amid accusations that Michael Garner is using the coronavirus pandemic for political purposes. That's right, Ash. He's certainly been talking up his handling of this coronavirus crisis ahead of the Northern Territory election, which is just 11 days away. But he caused a quite a bit of confusion this morning with comments that he made during an interview uh, on ABC Breakfast, where he talked about those hard borders, that were, they were his words, being in place uh, for the next 18 months. Let's have a quick listen to what he had to say. We're working towards uh, at least an 18-month window from today towards the end of next year is how we're starting to resource our borders. We're recruiting extra police to be able to make sure we keep those hard border controls in place. Now, the reason that's caused uh, a lot of alarm here in the Northern Territory, Ash, is the fact that there are no hard borders in place at all. In fact, the Northern Territory's borders have been open to most states since the 17th of July. They're open to Western Australia, to South Australia, to Queensland, to Tasmania, to the ACT and to large parts of New South Wales. What is in place is a hotspot strategy that uh, means that when a place is declared a hotspot, then people from those areas, if they want to come to the Northern Territory, are forced into mandatory quarantine. At the moment, all of Victoria is a hotspot, as is the Greater Sydney area and a couple of other regions uh, in New South Wales. The Health Minister held a news conference this morning. She was forced to clarify the government's position. If you come from a hotspot, you go to first forced quarantine. If you don't come from a hotspot, you're free to enter the Northern Territory. So nothing's changed overnight? Uh, nothing has changed overnight. So no change to the Northern Territory's Territory government's uh, policy here at the moment and no change uh, to those border restrictions. There have, however, been uh, loud... There has been loud criticism uh, of the Chief Minister today over those comments he made this morning uh, and uh, people suggesting that he's creating uh, mass confusion here in the Northern Territory with his attempts to politicise this coronavirus crisis. Uh, chief among the critics was Terry Mills, the leader of the Territory Alliance Party. Here's a bit of what Terry Mills had to say. It's uh, incoherent and confusing and, frankly, silly to tell Territorians that uh, we have to expect the borders to be closed for 18 months and learn to live with this as though he's some kind of hero when, in fact, in, hidden in plain sight, the fact the borders are actually open. So just to clarify, Ash, the Northern Territory's borders do remain open to all states and territories except Victoria, which has been declared a hotspot, and the Greater Sydney region as well as a couple of other local government areas in New South Wales. Nothing has changed on that front. We are just 11 days away from the Northern Territory election. In fact, early voting has already begun. Plenty of people out there already casting their votes. More than 6,000 Territorians did that yesterday and it's clear the government is keen to make its handling of this coronavirus crisis uh, an issue ahead of that Northern Territory election. Yeah, big couple of weeks coming up there in the Territory. Matt Cunningham, thank you for the update.